Hi, welcome to the fourth tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. In the previous tutorials, I created a DNS and DHCP server and was busy creating the DDNS at the end of the last one when we got an error about the timeout while uh, trying to bring up the new node. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to fix that error and see if we can get the DDNS completely working. So first thing we're going to do is edit the uh, bind service or well, the bind zone files. I found an error in the reverse zone file. The master only needs Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, before we do anything, we should change the root. So sudo minus i, my stupid little password, and then vim the reverse zone file again. Okay, so we just need to add the testcluster.com domain at the end of the master entry. So that should be be it. Okay. Uh, next is an error in the dhcpd.conf file. Now the timeout error that we got was caused by the firewalls blocking all connections to port 53 on this com computer from a public IP address. Um, the two ways to fix this error would be either to change the IP that it connects to or to allow the um, f connections on port 53 through the firewall. So the e I'm just going to do the, the first one and change the IP. So go to, uh, well edit, slash etc slash dhcp slash dhcpd.conf and replace master.testcluster.com with 127.0.0.1 as the primary DNS server for the zones. The firewalls do not block connections from 127.0.0.1 so um, setting that as the primary connection or primary DNS service will work fine. Uh, doing it this way is slightly more secure than opening the port in the DHC, well, in the firewalls, sorry. Okay, so let's just restart the bind 9 service. Other way around. Service bind 9 restart. Okay. Uh, another thing that I forgot forgot about is the permissions in the slash etc slash bind folder. You'll see here that it has read write, read, read permissions and uh, the files are owned by root user instead of bind user. We want the permissions to be read write execute, read write execute, read write, no not sorry, the last one should only be read execute and the owner should be bind. So let's start off the G mod seven seven five slash uh, no no slash um, for a recursive and then for slash etc slash bind and then we change the user to uh, chone uh, recursively bind slash etc slash bind. Now you'll see that the permissions are correct and the owner is correct as well. So again, restart the bind nine service. Okay, so uh, let's log into node 1 and see if we can get the network and the DDNS working correctly. So switch the root user. Okay, so just restart the network on ETH0. So I have down ETH. Yeah. Excuse me. 
I have down ETH0 and then um, before we start the, the Ethernet interface again we want to tail this slash var slash log slash syslog file so that we can see any changes um, to the D DNS and DHCP. So let's execute IF up ETH0 and you'll see errors of network unreachable those are acceptable errors that's not extremely important right now and there we get the timed out error for adding it to the forward map again now <laughs> it's a stupid error that we made um, we updated the settings for the DNA server but we never actually restarted the server. So service IC minus DHCP minus server restart. And I made an error. Um, so let's just go go back and edit the DHCP.con file. And immediately I see my error. That should be point zero well, 0 0.1, so the rest is fine, and restart the server again. Okay, this time it starts up correctly. And now bring back node 1 again, ETH down, IF down, tell the file, and IF up. Okay, now we see added reverse map from 2.0.0.11.inaddress.arpa to node01.testcluster.testcluster.test.com sorry, node01.testcluster.com.testcluster.com now in Ubuntu unlike in CentOS and Scientific Linux um, it automatically adds the domain to the back of the hostname so since our hostname is currently node01.testcluster.com it adds .testcaster.com at the end of it again. So we're going to change the hostname to node01 and then just make the changes permanent by editing slash etc slash hostname. Um, okay, you can't see me doing it here, but there should be node01.testcaster.com and I'm only removing the .testcaster.com and saving the file. And now just edit um, the dhcpd.conf file again I'm being a slightly retarded and you can't see what I actually did I just removed the .deskcluster.com from the file that we had in the top line so if I restart the service again uh, you would have seen um, it added the reverse map to the correct domain it added a forward map as well and pinging the host name from the head node you, you'll get a domain name error because we haven't added the name service to the resolve file yet as I'm doing now uh, once you've added the name server again to the resolve file and ping node 01 you will actually get node 01 Okay, so let's just bring up node 2 as well. Uh, log in. And uh, type in my username. And immediately switch to root user. And okay, the host name is correct here. So we just need to add the dhcp slash dhclient.eth uh, slash dot bleh, dash eth0.conf So just add those few lines that should be node 02 not node 01 to your config file Just the usual send fqdn.fqdn request whatever Okay, so once you've saved the file, uh, we still need to set up the interface. So vim slash etc slash network slash interfaces. And then add auto 
eth0 ifas eth0 inet dhcp okay just save and quit the file and then we can if up eth0 ping node 0 2 and we successfully pinging node 2 so the DHCP DNS and DDNS is finally working correctly um, in the next tutorial I will be setting up NAT, POSTLESS, SSH and NFS if the time allows at all thanks for watching